Partners, today we're here to create our pinch pot for our ceramics unit. It's the simplest vessel, it's the easiest to make, and we truly can make it all with our hands. So what you're going to do is you're going to kind of take the chunk of clay and just kind of roll it in your hands, try and get it shaped like a sphere. A sphere is like a ball. Okay, once you get that close enough, it doesn't have to be perfect, put the ball of clay in your hand, take your thumb of your opposite hand, and shove your thumb down. Now, you don't want to go all the way through, and you can kind of feel when you get close with the palm of your hand. Then take your fingers and squeeze, rotate, squeeze, rotate, squeeze. Now, sometimes kindergartners don't squeeze very hard and they just sit and spin the clay on their thumb. That's not going to make a bowl. You have to get a little bit of muscle into this, but keep the fingers together and you won't have as much work. I find that some kids go like this, squeeze, and then they make these indents and they have to use a lot of time to get those indents out. So, oh, my hand's tired. I'm going to switch it. I can use my other thumb and fingers. See, I'm still keeping those ones together. And I'm just going to keep pinching and rotating, pinching and rotating. Now, it's up to you to make sure there isn't too much clay down here. Sometimes kids leave like an inch of clay, and then they have this tiny little bowl. You need to fix that. If it's really heavy on the bottom, you've got to shove your thumb down further. Now, here's what's going to happen. You are stretching the clay out. It is going to crack. That is okay. I'm going to show you how to fix that. All right, so once you kind of feel like you like it, smooth out little problems. And now we're going to take, and you can, sometimes you can even just smooth the cracks. Depends on how moist the clay is. See, I can just smooth some of the cracks. But I am going to take one finger dips of water. Not your whole hand. You get one finger dip. You can do all your work here with one fingertip of water. Too much water and you're going to end up making your clay weak. And it's just going to turn to mud, basically. It's not what we want. All right, now that crack is persisting. So if you have a crack that persists, what you got to do is you got to use the back of your thumbnail or fingernail. Make it become one. Do you see how I use the back of my fingernail? And then I smooth it again. It looks good. looks nice. Okay, now, right now this thing is like wobbly. It wants to tip over. So you're going to go tap, tap, tap. Voila. Now it's not going to tip over. I have a nice flat bottom. Now I have tools that you can use, like what's called the wooden stylus tool. It's a pointy wooden tool. And what we want to do is we want to include some sort of pattern on our pinch pot. So I'll be grading your pattern. So a pattern repeats. We learned that earlier in the year. Just like in the classroom, A, B, A, B, A, B. Well, circle, square, circle, square, circle, square. Dash, dot, dash, dot, dash, dot. You need to decide. I'm going to just start with a simple dash, dot, dash, dot. You need to go all the way around the vessel. Dash, dot. Pretty easy. Patterns don't have to be hard. This will give a little bit of decoration to your pottery. There we go. Nice. Now, if you really want to get, um, let's say, a little bit, you know, more designy, you can even do more than that. Let's see. Let's start with the letter X. Letters can be used to design too. It's up to you, but I have to see pattern. That is absolutely necessary for your grade. Okay, and it has to go all the way around. When you're done, bring it over to me. I will flip it over. I'll ask you to spell your name. My name is Rachel, so R-A-C-H-A-E-L. And then you, I know that you're in maybe kindergarten, so that's a K for your class code. And then let's say Tolly, for example. Then I'll go put it on the cart. I'll cook it. It's going to shrink a little. And then in about a week, we will glaze it or paint it. Depends. Okay, that's it. Let's get started, kindergartners.